Hi, my name is Lindsay, and I'm searching for love. I'm recently single, I think, and I'm looking for someone who I can spend the rest of my life with, or at least the rest of my probation with. A little bit about me. I'm an actress, a singer, an entrepreneur. And also recently single, you think, what does that even mean? You don't know the notion of time or are you not really sure you're single? But hey, what's up everyone? I do hope you're going to enjoy the video. So let's get into it. Should a man care about what his girl wears? Absolutely. What women want to do is solicit attention. So when you wear a promiscuous outfit like that, you are soliciting the attention of other males. No, definitely not. Definitely like, not. I'm going to wear what I want. Because he has no say on our lives. It's Yeah, him. like, Who we're going to do what we want to do. What he wants. It. It's our lives. Yeah. Is your boyfriend here right now? Yeah, he's back right there. there. Do you think you should have some say in what your girl wears when going out? You know what, I'm going to say no to that, you know what, oh, she, she does sorry. what she wants to do. If his girlfriend is not here, I'm telling you, there's a completely different answer to that question. That's all I know. You got to let your girl trust your shit. you can't police that, she does her own thing. But if I'm not here, his answer would be different. Yes, and that's his friend, so probably he knows what he's talking about. Your boyfriend either doesn't have the balls to tell you exactly what he thinks, or he doesn't consider you long term. The way you dress and act when you're going out, either with him or with your girls, is a direct reflection on him. And the fact that you want to dress however you like with no consideration for your boyfriend, it's disrespectful to him and to yourself. But you are right on one point. He doesn't dictate your life, but he still dictates his life and his relationship. You can choose to be a part of that relationship, or you can choose to go your own way. As a woman in her 30s who's been in New York for 10 years, it's really hard to watch toxic men continuously date younger and younger. Why do they do that? What about love is love? What about why do you care? <laughs> what, about, what about all those things? I think they're stupid concepts, but they, she's the exact type of person who would say that. It all goes out the window when they don't agree. Yes, you're 30 and you're single and you're angry that the men your age are looking past you and are looking to date younger women. I'm sorry, but this is the world we live in. And she will have a different conversation if she was talking about a younger girl dating an older man. If that was the case, everything would be fine. Stay bitter, my girl. You're crushing it. Here's your regularly scheduled reminder that girls are just as strong, if not stronger, than guys. Yesterday, I arm wrestled my brother. This was not of my own volition. It was to inspire him to go to the gym. So I've been going to the gym pretty consistently for about a year now. And my brother just recently got cleared from having a pretty invasive surgery to go back to doing normal things. He is 15 years old. I am 19 years old. One thing you need to know about my brother is that he is built like Slenderman. Boy is skin and bones and things you need to live, and that is it. Can count every single one of his vertebrae and every single one of his ribs. Boy literally looks like you could push him over with a paper straw. Boy barely weighed enough to qualify for the surgery that he needs to live because he's built like a scarecrow. Well, let's inspire some healthy competition, some motivation, so I arm wrestle him, okay? I'm 100% confident I can beat this boy. My dad was literally coaching me through this and every time I was like, I can beat him. This is going to be so easy. I can like smash him to smithereens. Then I realized something absolutely devastating. My brother might be nine years old in my brain, but he is 15 years old in reality. So I'm not strong enough to just one and done this man. So I have to pray that he has the patience of a baby dolphin and I can outlast him. Almost fully broke my arm and my relationship and my soul, but you better believe that I won. Okay, was my arm shaking afterwards? Y yes. Could I not grip literally anything in the preceding two hours after that fight? Yes. Um, but I won. So yes, ladies, I think I have successfully proven that we are on the same level as men. We can beat these men. We need to humble these men. That's right, ladies. We are independent girlies and don't need no man. We can beat them in anything. As long as we're not on equal footing. Feminine. Yay. He's just like a man. You just seem very misogynistic, yeah, realistically. Yeah, yeah. What is misogyny? <laughs> Why are you using words that you don't even know the definition no, of? No, no, that's not no, what I meant. I think, I think you are misogynistic, though. So. Well, what does misogynistic mean, though? Um, like, just so I know what you're calling me. Okay, so the reason I said it is just, again, based on the... 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 I'm sure she found the word she was after. Unfortunately, the guy left probably two hours before she did. The second one even googled the definition of the word. They both looked at it and somehow still crickets. And I think I've said it before, this is what overusing a word with no actual ground does. First, you're using it without knowing the meaning of the word. And second, it loses all meaning. How has he not noticed that I'm mad at him? We haven't talked in 20 minutes. What is he even thinking about? I could take a bear in a fight. Not like a grizzly bear, but like a black bear. Jump on his back, put it in a headlock, done.
I don't need some, I don't need a man to pay my bills. I will never rely on a man for money. I will never rely, rely on anyone for money. How much was it today? 150. Uh-oh. <laughs> um... Uh, <laughs> sorry, I just need a second. This right here. What no one will tell you about narcissists. Why I don't trust therapists here it or is. counselors. A narcissist can only be in a relationship with someone who's willing to betray themselves. <laughs> if you're willing to betray yourself, that actually means you're very manipulative. Oh. You are willing to do something that's not in your best interest in order to get someone to stay, in order to get someone to be a little bit nicer, in order to get someone to think better of you. Oh, you poor thing. Way harsh. And wrong. <laughs> and it's kind of a plot twist, right? And wrong. <laughs> so we paint narcissists as the bad guy. Because they're called some narcissists. Real abuse happens and I'm not. <laughs> That's Believing why they're called that. narcissists. Everyone has their own experience. I'm not speaking to that. I'm speaking to the fact that everyone's pointing at the narcissist saying they're a bad guy. Because they're the narcissist. When they wouldn't even be able to do those things if someone wasn't trying to manipulate oh, them. Oh, poor the narcissist getting manipulated. <laughs> in order to get oh them to stay. God. This is a new level of cuckoo right here and this is why everyone should stay off TikTok. These so-called therapists, first of all, they have no idea what they're talking about and second of all, the majority of them, they're not even therapists. Narcissists are not the bad guy? Seriously? There's two obvious options here. They either have no idea how dangerous their messages are or they do and they just don't care. I just had to pull over, bro. Look at this building. <laughs> all right, right. Look at this. Ready? What? Where did they go? Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh Can you hear the sound of your own voice? Yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. Thank you for such amazing. I can call you on your cell phone now, baby. And then you can talk to my dad about his head. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Are you okay? Is that too loud? No, not too loud. The boy that annoying. You don't hear that? I had to hear it forever. Oh, oh, don't be silly, baby. Oh, there we go again, Doc. You know why this guy's smiling? Because he's probably deaf and he can't hear his wife's voice. Uh, Doc, please take it off. Help me. Please. Relax. Help me. This is a celebration. Trust me, from one married man to another, you'll get used to it. I don't believe any word that came out of your mouth. You look. And this is gonna be the end of the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.